Greetings, my name is Elias Vic, and welcome to the channel. Here are my top 5 texture and material tips in Unreal Engine 4. If you import a low resolution texture to Unreal Engine 4, something like a 16 by 16 pixel texture, then you might notice that the texture is a bit blurry in the viewport and doesn't look the way you want it to. If you're going for that pixelated look, you want to change the texture filtering. You can do that by double clicking on the texture to open up the texture edit window, in the details panel navigate to texture and change the filter from default to nearest. If you're working on a game with a pixelated style, changing the filter for all your textures can be a hassle. Instead of doing that manually, you can right click on a texture and under sprite actions, click the apply paper 2D texture settings. This will automatically apply the nearest filter and also make sure that the colors in your texture will be shown correctly. When you are working on your materials, make sure to use the key bindings on the keyboard in order to quickly access the nodes from the palette. You can find the key bindings to the respective nodes in the palette window. What you then do is to hold down the key binding on the keyboard and then right click somewhere in the material editor graph to create it. You can add comments in the material editor by selecting a section of your nodes and then pressing the C key on the keyboard. You can also change the comment color in the details panel. This is so simple but so useful. Just drag and drop your texture onto your model in order to automatically create a material. If you have named your textures appropriately, then all the textures will be assigned to that material. You can find more information about how you can name your models, maps, textures, materials in the link below. I hope that some of these tips and tricks were helpful. Have a nice day and I will see you real soon.